in this section we're going to be looking at inequalities. So what we're first going to look at are linear inequalities to make sure we get the basics down so that we know how the inequalities work. So let's look at these four examples. Number one, 5x minus 7 is less than 6. So solving inequalities works much in the same way as it would if you were solving an equation. The only thing you need to look out for is when you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, in which case the symbol, the inequality symbol, changes sign. Okay, so it flips around. And I'll show you an example of that during these four. So 5x minus 7 is less than 6. So I can add 7 to both sides, just as I would a normal equation. So 7 plus 6 is 13. And then I can divide both sides by 5. So that wouldn't flip the inequality symbol around because I'm dividing through by a positive number. So the answer, the solution to that inequality, is x is less than 13 fifths. Let's look at the next one. 4 minus 3x is less than 9. So with this one, what I can do is I could take 4 from both sides. And that leaves with me with minus 3x is less than 5. Now I'm going to divide through by minus 3. And in doing so, I'm going to get minus 5 thirds on the right hand side. But because I've divided through by a negative number, that means that the inequality sign changes round. And so now x is greater than minus 5 thirds. Okay? So that is the case where dealing with an equation and an inequality, you've got to be careful. You've got to be very careful. Right, so number 3, 9 plus 3x is greater than 6 minus 5x. 9 plus 3x is greater than 6 minus 5x. So much in the same way as it would be if you were solving an equation, I'm going to add 5x to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. So in that process, at no point have I multiplied or divided through by a negative, so the inequality sign uh, stays as it is. And then I can divide both sides by 8. So x is greater than minus 3 eighths. And that would be the solution to number 3. Now finally, number 4, minus 7 is less than or equal to 5x plus 3 is less than or equal to 20. When solving an inequality like this, you'll notice that it has three sections. One, two, three. Okay? And you deal with each section in exactly the same way. So if I take three from both sides, as I would in an equation, I take three from all three sides. So subtracting by three, I'm going to have minus ten on the left. I'm going to have five x in the middle. And I'm going to have 17 on the right. Then I can divide each section by 5 to let me have x by itself. So minus 10 divided by 5 is minus 2. And 17 divided by 5 is just 17 fifths. Okay? And that is the solution to the original inequality problem.